grabbed my shoes and I ran downstairs. I banged on all my neighbors' doors to wake them up. And I called my parents and I said, I think we're under attack. One year later, reflections on the horrific Hamas attack on Israel and how survivors are coping with their grief. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch, and welcome to WJZ's All Local News at 6. More than 1,200 people were killed in the attack, including dozens of Americans. The impact still being felt by the entire Jewish community, including a Howard County man. He was living there when it happened. Our Howard County community reporter, Dennis Valera, spoke with him. He joined us now in the studio and has more on their conversation. Dennis. Denise, Alex Gammerman lived in Jerusalem for six years, and he admitted to me over the last year, the strength in his faith has flickered. But he says in his family, in the entire Jewish community, there's dark times to pull from in their history. Originally from Glenel, Alex Gammerman says his time in Jerusalem is some of the best years in his life. You have this huge melting pot, and most people are really uh, welcoming and they'll take you in and make you part of their family. And on the eve of October 7th, Simkas Torah, a Jewish holiday, he spent it with some of that adoptive family. Went to synagogue and it was so amazing. It really was amazing. We were dancing all night. He was reading a book the morning of October 7th and not long into that. The rocket started and I live in Jerusalem. Um, so it doesn't get targeted as frequently with rockets. And I grabbed my shoes and I ran downstairs. I banged on all my neighbors' doors to wake them up. And I called my parents and I said, I think we're under attack. As he learned more about the severity of the attack, the most evident impact shuttered businesses. But Gammerman says it wasn't a safety thing, recalling a conversation with a store owner. He looked very distraught. And I said, Iran, like, how are you feeling? And he said, uh, you know, not so good. My son's flying in a helicopter right now over Gaza. How do you stay so strong in your faith? How do you keep that flame alive? It's definitely flickered over the past year. While the conflict's been hard to deal with over the last year, Gammerman says he's been able to cope by pulling strength from the roots of his family, his community. This is our installment of a 3,000 year saga. All it takes is light to expel the darkness. And, uh, and that does happen, it's happened historically, and it will happen this time. Now later this month, Chabad Lubavitch of Howard County in Columbia is hosting a community event to memorialize the victims of the attack and celebrate the holiday Simcas Torah. Details will be on our website, wjz.com. Denise, back to you. All right, thank you, Dennis.